like, subscribe, and leave a comment. So here's your review of a WWE Raw, the week commencing the 26th of August 2024. First and foremost, I want to say RIP to Psycho Sid, Sid Vicious, RIP. So then it starts with the Judgment Day coming out. Basically, they glow over beating down Rhea Ripley and Damian Priest. Uh, Liv also throws a bit of spice in there as well. And Dominic says he's going to, he calls out Rhea and says he's going to enter the Intercontinental Championship Tournament. Rey Mysterio comes out, they have a back and forth and it turns into a brawl. That goes straight into the LWO versus the Judgment Day in a really good match. Of course, there was interference by Liv Morgan and yes, Dominic Mysterio got the victory. Then we have The Miz fired up um, and said he's had a few bad weeks, had a bad few weeks. But then he said he's back on track and he's going to be in entering the Intercontinental Tournament triple threat matches. And and Bronson Reed basically calls him out afterwards. Then we have the New Day fired up as well for tag team, potential tag team success and intercontinental tournament success. So we'll see if they can do anything. Then we have the Damage Control versus Pure Fusion Collective. I don't know where that name's come from, but really good match. Go and watch if you haven't seen it, but in the end, the Damage Control get the victory. Then we have Uncle Howdy gives a message to everybody, especially Chad Gable. And they said they're coming, so we'll see. Then we have Drew McIntyre come out. So Drew McIntyre comes out, basically calls out CM Punk. Says CM Punk is really scared of him, really. And the fans are to blame because they enable CM Punk. And basically, they're the ones to blame because he said he's going to hurt him. As he said that, CM Punk comes out and starts to beat down Drew with the strap leading into their strap match. Let's see what happens. Then we have the first triple threat intercontinental match. It's Jey Uso Yeet versus Karrion Cross versus Kofi Kingston for the Intercontinental Championship Tournament qualifier. Really good match. Go and watch it if you haven't seen it. But in the end, Yeet, Jey Uso gets the victory. Then we have Randy Orton come out. Basically, he thanks the fans for singing his song. Said it only took you like 15 years to do it, but finally you got there. And then he, he talked about being the youngest world champion, having his name engraved on him championship titles. And he said he wants it again. He wants to be the 15-time world champion, and he is fired up. Then we had Bronson Reed versus uh, Braun Strowman. Really good match, but there was no winner because they started brawling and they brawled into the parking lot. And then Bronson Reed really took out Braun Strowman. He jumped off a, a ledge onto a car, took him out. Then we have the second uh, qualifier match, The Miz versus Pete Dunne versus Xavier for the Intercontinental Championship for the Triple Threat Tournament. Really good match. Go and watch it. But in the end, Pete Dunne got the victory. Then we have Braun Breaker basically said he's ready to take on anybody, he's ready to take on Jey Uso or Pete Dunne or whoever it is. He's ready for you. Then we have Rhea Ripley and Damian Priest calling out Liv Morgan and Dom said they're coming for them. Then in the main event, it is Chad Gable versus Uncle Howdy. Really good match. Yeah, there was loads of interference from the American made team, the American team. Uh, the Wyatt family came down. But in the end, Uncle Howdy got the victory.